Hey guys, and we're back again. Last time we left off, we had a simple UI set up. So if you highlight it and press enter on your keypad, you get an empty window popping up. It has a title, a minimize button, a maximize button, and an exit button. Today I want to show you how to make a layout for that UI as well as buttons and functions. So let's just get right into it. All right. So we want to do this before we show the window. Let me take these extra spaces out. We want to do this before we show the window and well, let's give it a layout. Right? So there's many different ones. There's frame layout, grid layout, column layout. Um, I guess I'm just going to go with frame layout here. All right. So let's give this frame layout a label. <clears throat> let's call it UI controls. Say if you were a rigger and you wanted to make um, a controls for a, a certain user interface, well, there you go. Perfect. All right. And well, let's see what are our options. Oh. If you go up here in your script editor, beside file, edit, history, you get command. Right here it says show tooltip. If you check that and you select something that's highlighted in blue and you hold control and you press C, you get all the commands that you can do for it. It's very helpful. Oh, here. And if you hold control and scroll up with your middle mouse button, you can make the text bigger. I'll do this so you guys can see it better. So, we're going to give it a border style, BS. Make it etched in. And we're going to make it collapsible. CLL for that. So it's a binary, either one for yes or zero for no. And if you want to start it collapsed, oops, I did that wrong. If you want to start it collapsed, you can say one or no. I want mine starting collapsed. Later on, It'll look much neater. And next. So that's done. Uh, we can make a layout within a layout. So this drop down that frame layout's going to have can have its own layout within it. So let's give that a grid layout. And you can imagine how a grid looks like. So if you see here, I can go into a different perspective by clicking on panels hovering over orthographic let's just choose front so this is a grid right that's a layout for a grid and we're gonna give it a number of columns and C and I guess just three and we're gonna give it a column width and height I'm going to give mine 90 and 50, and that's it. So inside this grid, we're going to give it a button. We're going to give it that button a label. 
call it control maker. And inside that button, we want to give it a command. Now that command doesn't exist right now, but we're going to make it soon. So let's call it button control maker quit. Oops. All right. And that's that. So now we want to give this layout a sort of hierarchy. So this is going to be all the way up top. And that's how we want it laid out in our code. So we're going to set parent this like that. And that's how we give it a hierarchy in the code. So nothing's going to be above this. Now we want to make sure this button, when it's clicked, it calls this. So if we, if we highlight everything right now, and you press enter on your mouse keypad, yeah, it's going to pop up and you're going to have a button that says control maker, but when you click it, you're going to get an error. You can't find the procedure. The function doesn't exist. The command doesn't exist. So we need to make that. How you do it? Very simple. It's called a global proc. global proc is the same name as our button control maker. Don't worry that mine's, mine's highlighted in blue. Don't worry about that. Yours will probably be gray. I don't know why mine's showing in blue. It wasn't earlier. Anyway, so we give it open and close parentheses and then open brace. Oops. Open brace, and it should automatically give me a closed brace. If it doesn't give you a closed brace, do it yourself. Anyway. All right, so inside here is what's going to be the function. It's going to be the command. When you click the button, this inside here happens. So... I'm going to make a NURBS circle. If you don't have curves in your tabs here, you can go to create NURBS primitives circle and drag it. So I have this and I want it zeroed out. Just going to make sure everything's zeroed out. And the zip. Right here, everything's recorded. So all you have to do is look for the parts that you need to make this and put it in here. So I have this right here. This line right here. And I put it right here. Maybe I could just give it a radius of 4.5. And now I want to make sure all of its attributes are set to zero. So I'm going to copy this and put it below. That's it. It should work. Let's try it. Highlight everything. Oh, first let's delete this. Highlight everything again. <laughs> Boom. It works. And that's it.
that's how you make a little layout right here with a button so you can make more than one button make several buttons and since you're it's under this grid layout they're going to be beside each other control snap and control uh, orient things like that Boom. There you go. Simple as that. You do that, you give them more global procs, and there you have your button. And now, to give it its own button, this control. So something like one of these. It won't have a picture. It'll probably just show a default uh, symbol like one of these two I'll show you how to make a picture for it later in another video so highlight your script and click file and save script it's gonna prompt this window I'm gonna save it where it should be saved, right here. In your Maya version, right here in scripts. That's where all your scripts should be. I'm gonna call this simple UI That's it. Save. And now we put this inside. Where is this? We put this inside of a global proc. And we call it the exact same thing we just saved our script as. What the global proc is. And then we close that parentheses. And that should work. So now. make this a button so you can just highlight this and middle mouse drag it onto a tab and then when you click it oops get an error of course it's not sourced you always have to source your script that way it'll work all right. Uh, could not find procedure. I didn't save the script again. <laughs> that was it. So make sure you save the script the way it is like this. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just that I didn't save it again. So save the script again in the same exact spot with the same name. and then run the button and it works so delete this boom still works all right and that's it thank you guys let me know what you think um let me know what you want to see these videos are for you. 
Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Smash that like button. And have a good day.